Hi, and good afternoon. My name is Nioka Hambrick, and I will be discussing curriculum evaluation following the adult learner. This will take students from the point where they are setting through a course and then finding out through formative evaluation as well as summative evaluation um, if they have retained this information and what is the success of this student for mobility purposes. Uh, positive outcomes start with a goal in mind, and that would also be uh, for curriculum design. Um, it is the intent to determine the institution and student's objective, develop the, the curriculum around these objectives, um, obviously with the end goal of success in mind, organize and determine the curriculum relevancy. Uh, implementation of the curriculum obviously is important, but ultimately evaluate the outcome of curriculum experiences. Um, this will uh, for you be a type of evaluation that will tie the, all of the work that has gone into curriculum design and implementation. Uh, it will tie it together and it will help give um, a more accurate picture of obviously the feasibility, the utility, the accountability, the accuracy um, of what is being taught within a course. Um, mine is actually based around nursing mathematics, which is a course that I have taught in the classroom. Um, but to understand the importance of this, it's, it, you need to understand what nursing mathematics truly is. Um, nursing mathematics is the calculations needed for medication administration, safe nursing care mandates accuracy uh, in the calculation of dosages and solution rates. Patients' lives depend on accuracy. With nursing mathematics, a wide range of fluencies must be mastered. Utilization of basic mathematical applications, um, the use and conversions between three measurement systems and algebraic formula manipulations. Uh, three measurement systems are used, household, apothecary, metrics. Uh, conversions from one system to another, uh, intense fractions, decimals, ratios, proportions. Um, dosages for oral, subcutaneous, intramuscular, intravenous administration, as well as really the most important part of nursing mathematics is clinical decision making based on these calculations. You have to know what you're doing. You have to understand that every single life that you administer a drug to depends upon the accuracy. Therefore, nursing mathematics is very, very important um, as students um, continue on into the nursing program, specifically in the pharmacology course. Um, I believe that delivery is everything. And when I say delivery is everything, I mean the instruction methods. Um, I believe in a classroom that minimal lecture is, is absolutely necessary. Um, I believe that discussion, uh, situational based learning is of utmost importance. Peer to peer interaction, questions, discussion, and then reflection. I actually was uh, researching and I found that there is a 10 plus 2 strategy. And the 10 plus 2 strategy basically means 10 minutes of lecture and then two minutes for students to truly interact with each other, ask questions, or even just make a uh, brief notation of reflection of what they have just learned. Uh, one of the things that I did learn as I was researching this is there was um, one, one instructor that said the one doing the most talking about a concept is probably doing the most learning about it. So that really tells me that you should give opportunity for your students to question, discuss, um, absolutely talk it through so that way you understand their thought their their train of thought and then also understand what it is that you need to do to adjust your mode of delivery for them to uh, get it just basically get it because everyone does have a different learning style um, mine is different than others and so this is just very very important to me is to make sure that the students truly get it they get it in their own way and they get it in their own words uh, with evaluation 
you are basically wanting to know, did you hit the target? Did you accomplish what you spent an entire semester trying to do? Um, I have three examples basically of why evaluation is of utmost importance to me, uh, quite frankly, because I've been there. I, I went through nursing school and I actually entered into the nursing program having not taken nursing mathematics. I had already completed an upper level mathematics, therefore I was not required to take nursing mathematics, which is considered a lower level course than most um, college pre-cal algebra, so forth, so on. Um, I believe that the fundamental principle of an entire system is that the curriculum is designed in such a way that learning activities and assessment tasks are aligned with the intended learning outcomes. Um, the student should be able to mobile into the next class and be able to do and demonstrate the importance of what should be learned. I believe it's a shared responsibility between the, with, between the student as well as the institution. Um, I've also seen while in the classroom teaching that the requirements for nurses and dose administration can and it does frequently change. This is based on um, nursing care plan assessments, the management of drugs um, that changes within the industry, the new drugs that are introduced into industry, and all of these industry standards, they have to be implemented real time in the curriculum so that you are teaching the most proper methods. Um, additionally, the dynamic needs of a student can change. Um, the requirements and jurisdictions of the nursing boards that regulate all of the nursing programs can change multiple times uh, before a nursing student is actually ready to enter into the program, and I've actually seen this. Um, but ultimately, ultimately, I've also seen where um, cultural backgrounds have um, a huge impact on teaching methods, but then also, um, you know, we now have students that are coming into the college level and they have, they've experienced different types of learning in secondary education, common core, um, things of that nature. And so as you are teaching, you have to make sure that you are instructing in a style in which they are really getting it. Um, homeschooling during quarantine, I'm teaching a nine-year-old how to do um, addition, subtraction, rounding, um, things of that nature. And it is not the same as it was when I was in high school. So you have to adjust those teaching methods to, to meet your students halfway. Um, success in curriculum evaluation. Curriculum evaluation is the process of delineating and obtaining and providing information necessary to make decisions for alternatives pertaining to necessary changes or improvements needed to ensure student learning and applications and success. Uh, improve educational processes and programs. That's what curriculum evaluation is truly about. Identify problem areas by diagnosing difficulties while implementing the curriculum. If you're in the classroom and you're teaching and, and you're going through and trying to hit every target to make sure these students are getting what they need, oftentimes you may run into a situation where it just isn't flowing correctly um, and you're going to have to identify those problems. Um, this would give you the opportunity to evolve and create new approaches of teaching and learning and, and achieving and hitting those target goals. Uh, you improve the ability of administration and instructors to plan and affect desired changes. Um, there have been times that adjustments have to be made to a course or to a curriculum to truly hit what is being asked for by the education system, by the nursing programs, by the different um, industry levels that are out there. So being able to be flexible and to evolve in your curriculum is very, very important. Um, now let's take a deep dive kind of into evaluation. There are um, about four different things that you're truly looking for when you're completing an evaluation. Um, and the first is the context. Um, it 
is consistency, meeting the needs of industry, the institution, and the individual students with the intent of education and mobility. Uh, for nursing students, they are taking a nursing class so that they can move on into the nursing program and successfully complete the pharmacology class, which is about 75% of dosage calculations. Um, input of evaluation. Uh, adequacy of student readiness, clear curriculum objectives, detailed content, methods and modes of instruction, competencies and preparedness of instruction, appropriateness of resources, both physical, meaning the facilities, meaning inside the classroom, meaning the resources that are available on campus, as well as the teaching and learning resources. Um, process evaluation effectiveness of teaching and learning methods, utilization of the facilities, utilization of all teaching and learning resources to hit each one of those students and their specific learning needs and styles. Uh, management of curriculum implementation, you have to keep it moving. You may have some students that will fall to the wayside. Um, it's, it's at that point your responsibility to make sure that you're, you're helping bring them along as best you can. But um, you've got to keep that moving for the overall good of the class. Uh, complete integration of theory with practice. You truly have to have the theory there. Um, but ultimately, I believe that practice, practice is what makes it work. So you've got to give them that foundation of theory, but allow students to put it to practice. Because if they don't practice, especially with mathematics, it is something that will go away. Um, and then again, product evaluation, consistency of learning outcomes with the stated objectives, compatibility for nursing mathematics through the mobility of nursing courses, utilizing critical thinking, dosage calculations, and administration, confidence of students related to knowledge obtained and practice. At Drake State, we actually will follow cohorts of students as they progress into the nursing program to ensure that they are obtaining the goals, they're maintaining what they have learned, and they are being able to implement as that as they go forward. Um, I have three, listed three references that I went out and, and truly uh, one is based on dosage calculations and, um, and the most current regulations that has been uh, notated in 2020. Um, I was this um, teacher topic 10-2 or chunk and chew which was really, really interesting to me um, and I believe that that's something that I would like to implement in the classroom. And then obviously the assessment and evaluation of higher education uh, with constructive alignment. Thank you and have a good day.